Um, my name is Mathieu. I'm the director of uh, the Gooseberry Project and uh, the Cosmos Landromat movie. And uh, I wanted to make you uh, a quick tutorial about uh, the editing process we have on the on the movie, the new tools there is in Blender, the way I use it. Um, I come from an editing an editing background. I, I was trained to be an editor. I know Final Cut, Final Cut Pro X, Avid, uh, Premiere a bit, but I usually um, used I, Avid and, um, and Final Cut. So that's uh, my first real job with Blender as an editor. That was part of the challenge and that's ooh, quite interesting to do. Um, because the editor is quite good actually. Uh, very, I like the UI in Blender in general and it's very fast to use with the keyboards and shortcuts and stuff. So I want to show you things I discovered I didn't know about, things that we developed uh, with the team here to improve it and uh, and how to use it. So let's go for it. So I will try the uh, then the build that we have uh, from the Gooseberry branch. So it's a specific branch. Ooh, what's this? I did something wrong. Sorry. Uh, so there it is. I'll put it in full screen and uh, I will start to edit. So uh, I've shot a few things with uh, Francesco. For reference, uh, take a very simple. Uh, I took a very simple case, which is uh, you shoot something with a camera. You put some lavalier microphone to the guy you're interviewing, so you have a separate audio files which should be clean, uh, cleaner than your in camera. You have to synchronize them and edit them and insert on them and well standard um, editing things. So that will help us to go through the whole process of it. So here it is. Uh, I think I've made a bookmark somewhere. Um, the important thing about this tutorial is that I assume you know basic uh, Blender things, so like uh, using it, <laughs> basically, uh, knowing where to grab, to use the shortcuts, so that you understand most of the thing I will do. Uh, I will explain what is not standard, but I will not go through every simple thing like you have to left click or right click or blah blah blah. So uh, it's dedicated for people that want to use Blender as an editing software that are editor and are curious about it, or uh, for people that use Blender and uh, want to use it also for editing and, and learn a few tips from from me and from the team of uh, of the Gooseberry project and how we use it. So here we go. Um, so first, let's try to take Francesco's interview, ITV, this one, Ooh, what a nice looking guy, um, and take the audio file that goes with it, this one, which is an mp3 I've recorded with the very tiny, oh, sorry, tiny tiny microphone he has just here, I don't know if we can see it it's better, well, anyway. Um, so the first thing you want to do in those cases is just synchronize those two audio files, so it's quite simple and already there is a very good uh, new feature I love, um, it's really recent, um, that goes into the sequencer itself, so you just have to go full screen for example, so you see the whole timeline edit you have. There we go. Oh, there. So you can already see that the recorded sound from the microphone is not fitting the duration of the of the clip, which is logical because you always not start them exactly at the same moment and stuff. So you have to synchronize them. And for this, we can use the overdrop, which is a new feature. So it just basically puts an overdrop. You press V and you can adjust it to wherever you want in your timeline. So now I can always see what I'm doing as I edit. And I really like this UI since I uh, don't necessarily like to be uh, on multiple screens because I love to use tablet uh, and not mouse. And it's always a pain to have two screens. Uh, you have weird aspect ratios on your tablet and stuff. So I prefer to have good UI stuff on one screen than multiple screens. So that's a very good thing uh, for me working on a 13 inch MacBook Pro laptop. It's super great to have those kind of stuff super convenient. So here we go. Um, now we just want to see the clap because we did the clap. So I will add, hide this one. <laughs> oh, it's not in sync. So first thing <laughs> you have to do with Blender, always check your 
at the right frame rate that's good I am 25 frames per second because we're in Europe and uh, I will also reduce the overall size of the movie because uh, just to display it uh, smaller Blender will struggle less to go through a proper frame rate with it and final thing you want to tweak this to AV sync so that you have audio and video synchronized when you play back it, it might drop frames but still you can have a proper uh, alignment from sound and image which recording okay so can you just if you look back. Back. hello I just go for take one now it looks like a clap so um, yeah this is the the small tweaks you can do first and also uh, what I also like as an editor is to have the scrubbing tool so that you when you scrub through the timeline you hear something which can be annoying on recording a, um, a tutorial so I will disable it but uh, when I work I prefer to have it so so again, V, just since I changed the, the percentage of display of the image, I have to zoom it a bit. V, enter to validate, and now we're ready to go. So the clap is here, roughly. Uh, the better way to see it is to see the waveforms. Hello, waveforms, go for it too. And already there's also a new feature, which is this. <clears throat> so you can either display turn off all waveforms or activate them for every audio strip there is in your timeline or if I just pick one of them and say well I don't want to see uh, where are they this one you can use the use strip option which will just is the preview state of blender where you had to manually click on every strip you want to see the waveform on so that's a bit simpler to just go through this so now we want to see all of them so that's easier i can guess that this is the clap from the lavalier microphone so just align them i also did this before so i know it's the clap <laughs> uh, so now they should be in sync and uh, the best way to see it is you with h hide the real sound from camera uh, alt H to uh, unhide the microphone and as you can see the, the, the level is not matching so you can like boost it just to see so as you can hear now you don't hear me anymore but in camera you can hear only me almost because I'm just on top of the microphone so now when Francesco talks My name is Frank, and I love my job. So his name is Francesco, but that's not the point of this, and, uh, and he loves his job, that's true. So now we do have a sync, so that's cool. Um, and, the, and the good thing is that in most of um, uh, editing software, you want, it, you want to do this on a timeline or, or a, uh, a collapsed uh, footage, and you want this to be merged, basically. You won't be able to use this as one strip in your edits because, well, you have the sync, that's good. You don't want to, to mess with it again. You might want to replace the sound because you can go to Audacity, enhance it uh, as you want and replace it without having to go through all the cuts that you will make about this interview and having to resync every one of them. So that's kind of a pre-comp like in After Effects. You want to be able to, to, to separate this. So it's not really possible in Blender as it is now, but there is a workaround that uh, uh, actually Campbell suggested. So I will show you. I've made a special um, UI uh, for this, workspace for this. So I call this the video editing scenes. And you see the point is this scene where you I sync Francesco's interview. I will call it uh, sync interview. Sounds fair. Now I will instantly create a new scene, totally new, that I will call the editing, for example, which would be the movie, or, or yeah, or you could call it movie, or whatever, whatever you want. So I will call it edit. Um, you just adjust his length, the length of the edit as you wish, something like this, we don't really care. And then, so now, uh, the new feature that Campbell uh, added is that you can add uh, a scene strip now. So, there we go, I have to um, um, remove the overdrop. 
uh, I have my scene just right here. So uh, I can uh, not see it yet because you have to uh, activate this, the use sequence, so it won't render use the strip, uh, the scene strip as uh, what's uh, happening in the 3D part of Blender, but uh, we'll use the sequence part of Blender. So since it's a new scene, uh, you have to uh, adjust your settings again. And yeah, that's a bit of vain, but um, that's how it goes. So that's why you should have a good standard on your preference at first, if you always work with 24 or 25 or 30, blah, blah, blah. And uh, now I have a new scene with uh, my um, Francesco synchronized. Take one. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Since it's not a default in my workspace, uh, I still have to 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 be sure that it's in sync. So now we can edit. Uh, and what's good again is that if I do any change in this scene. Uh, it will reflect in every sub uh, strip I've created. So let's go for it. Uh, we'll start with the proper moment with Francesco. Hi, my name is Frank. So actually, he's not Frank. And then, and then you wait like that. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Including the people what? Yeah, we were not alone in the office. So. Hi. Okay, so let's start here. Hi. Uh, by the way, I just select the beginning of the end of the strip and press Shift S to snap it wherever I want it. So either you grab it like this or you go somewhere and Shift S to, to grab it. So that's quite convenient and you get used to it very quickly. Hi, my name is Francesco Sidi and I love my job. Piece of shit. Let's do it again. Sorry. Oh. Just waiting for... Okay, while I was playing, I just press K with the strip selected. Uh, it splits them. Uh, it just make a cut. Super convenient when you want to do some stuff on the fly, and then I just remove it. So this is the part we want to work on. So this is Francesco saying he loves his job, pressing some shortcut, some magic shortcut I've made of my computer, uh, saying it's actually a recording of him saying piece of shit. It's something he often says in the office. Uh, so with this nice Italian accent and I've made a few insert of this so let's go back to uh, our bin uh, workspace and select some uh, some other images uh, we've shot for this so I've made an insert uh, of him in a wide shot of him is it in the same shot no it's not so I think the wide is this one let me check this so this is the insert of his hands, and this is the wide one. Where is the wide one? Okay, I thought I had another shot. Uh, <laughs> I might not. Well, that's not very important. And uh, I have also had. Um, A funny moment like this, where he sips his coffee. Might not use it, we'll see. Um, and I think that's it. And then there's another funny part in the in the back of the office, uh, but it's in the second part. So what we can just want to do now, we don't really care about the sound for this, uh, use the moment where he presses the keys, just to make a short insert. So you just go through the moment you want. Shift S again to snap it. Yeah. That's where you pressed it. Cut, take it, and we have to find out where we want it. Something like this, good work. And then we can even, I think, duplicate it. I just duplicate the strip, place it here, and something I really like also is a new tool, uh, the slide tool. I think it's, uh, let me, I will search for it. <laughs> I don't really know where it is. Uh, well, 
Slip, slip strip content. Yeah, yes. So you select uh, a clip and um, a strip and you just press S and you see the in and out points and you grab them and move them as you want to. Super convenient. Piece of shit. So since he already did it, uh, I think he's doing it again. No, he's not. Well, we'll fake it. We'll pretend he does it twice. So we just go back to... Piece of shit. So we can hear he does it again, yeah, something like this. You can make shorter since it's twice the same shot. As you can see, uh, this edit part is a bit weird because uh, we cut the moment where he looks down, which feels some kind of weird, but the reaction when he comes back is good. So what we can do is uh, also now we have some good snapping stuff. So actually you can snap the green timeline everywhere in every cut. So it's just page up, page down, which is again super useful. Press K to split where you want it. Uh, and now also one very useful shortcut is if you want to select everything that you have after your green timeline, you press Ctrl and left click and it selects actually everything. I don't think it's better if you see how much things there is after it. So I do again, control click here and then selects all of this again, bam. So, and if I do it the other way, it selects what is in the back. So it's super useful when you want to do well this without messing with the rest of your edit, which is after it's very, very convenient. So. Uh, there is also another tool which is very great for this is that the, the extrude tool actually so you select everything and press E uh, to really to it goes quite the same so it, it extends uh, more than just grabbing so control just moves and puts a hole uh, in it and if you do the same things with A and E it extends the bottom strip. So it really depends on the cases you want to do this. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it becomes quite uh, standard to use it so very quickly. And another thing about snapping is now when you uh, grab something and press control, it snaps to the closest cut it can find. So that again, for in our case, it's very convenient. If I want to, if I want to snap this to this, just grab control and that's it. So uh, that's super, super convenient helps a lot to be fast when you want to edit, which is often the case. So we lose some sound, that's okay. Maybe it's a bit long, so we can just, uh, or if we want not to mess with the rest, control click and select everything. Uh, just fill this up. So now it's a bit too long. Of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so we might just want to stop at the yeah. Uh, just make a cut for uh, for referencing. I want to move this a bit out. Maybe we can go for the white shot when he's alone to feel the sadness he has. So I'll start from here. Grab this. Just take this part. So I use the K tool to slice. Uh, as a butcher, the parts I want to use, but again, it gets once you're used to it, it gets very, uh, very convenient to use. Uh, I also like to put this a bit higher, simply to navigate. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Might not want to use the sound anymore, and for the sound. We might want to use the real sound from this shot. See how it looks. Uh, it's a video. <laughs> Sorry. Green is sound. Okay, so we do have a, a sound that we can maybe put a bit lower. And you can slide also sound files with S again, super convenient. So getting rid of this. Piece of shit. Yeah. 
okay, so we have something. It's not the best edit we've ever made, but we have something. <laughs> uh, let's just for the sake of it, maybe see if we can have a first shot to put. Yeah, like something like he walks. Okay, so let's say you want to introduce the character. Something like this. I'll just take those parts, put them here. Hi, my name is. So, as usual, there's a little sound issue. Sound is very, very important on the editing process. So, this is a bit too high again. Can go. Hi. And there's no fading tool yet. I really want to have a very simple tool to fade in and out point on, on sound files. But there's a very simple way to do it in Blender. So you just, everything is keyframeable. So you, you go anywhere you want, select your strip, say, uh, press I to create, like insert to create a keyframe. Here, go to the place you want to fade it. So you can, with the step node, you can go to the end. Uh, and adjust to zero, press I again, so you do have keyframes. And I have created a special workspace for this, oops, sorry, um, which I call uh, video, FX, video editing FX, where uh, if you select the strip you are working on, uh, you can see the, the curves, uh, the, the F curves that you've created and adjust them as you want to well, uh, I work on the, on the fading can, kind of effect you want. So in that case, that's not very necessary, but it was just to, to show you. So now Hi. we have a nice fading. Hi, my name is Francesco Sibi, and I love my job. Of shit. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, the best editing uh, thing I've never I've ever made. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, I think I've covered most of the things. Um, so again, I really like this uh, new workspace method. Uh, I think I will also go through this again with some um, uh, new stuff later on, uh, maybe when it will be related to BAM also, which is the asset manager software, um, because uh, there will be a way to switch, they might, it's, it's in development yet uh, still, but uh, we might have a way to go through revision of one strip to go from like the storyboard to the layout versions to the animatic and animation versions and stuff, but it's still uh, in development, but that's the, that's the idea. So again, uh, big thanks to, uh, to uh, Andonis and Campbell for all the work they've made and put on this because it's, uh, it's a simple tool, but it works very nice. And uh, especially the scene strip, because I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see in the strip, the scene strip, like metal strips, what happens in your scene. Uh, so let me just uh, show this to you. This is the ITV scene. If uh, I go and split stuff like this, duplicate and create ooh, some um, some chaos in it a bit, like just to put some extra stuff. Uh, if you go back to the edit scene and zoom in this strip, well, you should see it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I will duplicate it to make it more obvious. So there you can see inside our strip, our scene strip that the two uh, uh, video I've added on top. So that's quite convenient also just to have some reminder of what's going on inside your scene strip. So that's very, very cool. Um, well, I think that's it. Uh, if you want to, if you have questions or want to know more about this, I'm uh, all, uh, all yours. Uh, I will also show you very quickly um, what I've done with Francesco just later on, using the same way of working, not for the, the ITV stuff, but for the editing, you where you just cut, slice, trim, 
uh, on the fly it's super super easy well I, I can't resist I will show you how to do it it's so so much fun uh, so let's go for it uh, let's create a new edit very very quickly editing uh, video music video for example um, so again I have to put this by default <laughs> I'm sorry uh, no, it's a 24 oh, that's okay so cool uh, editing music video so I will just select the music randomly uh, and some cool um, things oh okay uh, no it's not by default I'm in the wrong scene yeah you know uh, the global scene problem is that when you switch to another workspace to access some settings well you have to check that you're in the right scene so 25 percent 25 frame and now that should be it okay so the thing is uh, it's just a, a, a cool music <laughs> from shke shke shke. and um, we have Francesco doing things in the shower of the office I never saw this uh, this place before actually so and I, I was quite surprised how it looked like so I just want to show you that it's super easy when you're used to it to to work with this because uh, I don't need the wave well, I can keep it uh, like if you want to make a, a very simple edit of something you just like snap go through the part you want like he's doing something cool here just keep keeping this there I want some very simple blurry stuff fast He's doing something cool again here. So I keep this. So you go through like this a bit, pick some different moment where he has cool shoes. So let's see about his shoes. There we go. So now we'll see how relaxed he is. Like he doesn't give a f because he's cool. Uh, then some cool DOP fun thing, crazy lens effect, and uh, yeah, like he's looking super fashionable, and uh, maybe some very very pleasant and high value close-ups with this wide lens could be fun too, like this. And I know he smiles. Yeah, yes, here he is, smiling with all his teeth because he's cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's my hat, by the way, so don't make jokes on his hat. Um, <laughs> and there we go. So that's how you do it. Like if you want to do it very, very quickly, then you grab all the things you want and adjust them as needed. So I want some insert of him quite quickly. Um, And uh, this is the yeah the piano part. There you go. And uh, since everything is slow mo, it might feel a bit uh, slow. <laughs> That's always the problem. So you might do another trick. Uh, so let's first let's have a look. Okay, so uh, now if you want just to put some more rhythm in it, again, super simple. Here we can just cut, take the part, the first part that is less interesting, just slide it a bit to the blurry part. Uh, a bit later, uh, earlier. Again, on the, on the beat, you can just move it a bit later on to some other parts. It's a bit slow. Again, it's a bit slow, so you just slide through the parts you find really interesting and sometimes you just can go randomly, almost.
Okay, for example, and last final uh, effect that can be used very often by editors for those kind of stuff is like if you want just to make a simple color correction on top of everything while well, you create a, an adjustment layer, uh, go through the strip modifier, put the color balance on top of it, and you can already have a bit of fun uh, on your on your footage just, just to see how it reacts, how it performs. Uh, mine is a bit uh, low exposed, a bit green, so might want to warm it up a bit, stuff like that. Um, deepen a bit the, the, the darkness, the, the shadows. Adjust a bit the gain us without blowing up everything. And you have something a bit more dense and interesting already. Still a bit cold, but um, that's a very simple way of doing it and it's quite uh, quite works quite good okay well uh, that's it um, again if I um, manage to have some new tools, new tips, and if you have some uh, questions <coughs> that are interesting in some, some other way of working, um, especially on the edit of the movie itself, if you want to, because now we have layouts and storyboards mixing, so it's also another kind of way of working, but uh, it's a bit close to this. So again, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask them in the, in the comments and, um, and download the, the latest uh, Gooseberry branch if you want to have those tools. Enjoy! Bye!